Um, so yeah, when last we left our heroes during Dragon Age Day, we went to the Fade and Redcliffe and did that whole business. And now we're in Denerim and I ended with getting trained by Isabella. So there we go. What dost thou have? I have some Channers board stuff in Denerim I have Fred, friends of Red Jenny, speaking of. And it, it, reward awaiting in the market district. Back alley justice is clearing out all the back alleys. Missing in action, find Rexel. Faisal's request. I, want, I wonder why some of these say Channers board, but then aren't just in the Channers board. We met a fence who says he can give us good tips on people to rob, which this is where I'm like, I might be skipping this quest this time. Because I'm not sure how Alistair would feel about it, even if like, it's for a good cause. Do I do a cheeky distraction? Oh no. Thank you for the lurk cafe. Good luck with work. Pearls before swine. Talk to Sergeant Kylan. You convince the White Falcon mercenaries to leave. Oh yeah, let's do this. Uh, I don't remember where he is, but let's... Actually, I'm gonna... I haven't talked to anyone in the tavern, so I'm yes. gonna do that first. What? Is it customary where you're from to give complete strangers questioning looks? Uh, well, well, that worked. <laughs> uh, no one else could see it. Because I'm in game capture. It's not screen capture. But Wobble set to literally the words cheeky distraction on Streamlabs. <laughs> uh, not Streamlabs, on Steam. <laughs> uh, bless you, Wobble. You are the patron saint of chaos, and I love you. And how is the polite way to respond? Maybe to tell you to go away and that I'm busy? This looks like the most awkward party ever. It's... You mean my party or just like us staring at this guy awkwardly? <laughs> they call me Casavir. I'm first mate on Captain Isabella's ship. More than this, you do not need to know. I don't know about anyone else, but I can barely hear the dialogue, so I turned it up a smidge. Yell at me if it's too loud for you guys. You are surprised to see another strong woman like yourself. Isabella commands the crew on the siren's call. She is a remarkable woman, and as you saw, quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist, but you cannot pay me enough to duel her. I'm not so stupid as those two. Did you not see? They wanted money back. Some of them never learn. If Isabella consents to play a game with you, it's an honor. You do not ask for compensation if you lose. I hope my brain isn't made of streamers. That would be weird and would get out of hand. But streamers are fun and whimsical. Isabella commands the crew on the siren's call. She is a remarkable woman and as you saw, Quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist. But you cannot pay me enough to duel Yeah, we her. got this already. I'm not so stupid as those two. This is just kind of going around in circles, so I'm just going to say I should be going. I also got the sense that I should have talked to him first, because I knew Welcome all that already. Welcome to the Pearl. I'm Sangha, the proprietor. Have a seat. Get comfortable. And tell me what you need. 
Every one of my people here is a skilled craftsman, and don't let anyone tell you different. You'll You've never to spoken, to, time, spoken to him. Our we're, rooms aren't we're quite big be hard. To share between so many, but we can discuss that in a moment. So, what would you like me to show you? The men or the women, or some or both, if you prefer. Oh my! Word speakies be hard, yo. Word buckies be hard. Blood spot it. Blood spot is my new favorite thing. I love him. I'm such a child. <laughs> Never mind. Come again. Not while Alistair's in the. I am not. I'm not doing that while Alistair is in the party. That is not happening. And I talked to Isabella already. Um. Got everything I need out of her. And that's to the city. That's city map. So what does this store go to? Got it. Oh, cool. There's a crate. Before I go through that door, I want to see if there's anything else. I don't know if I ever come back here. I think I have once before. And I mean, I have said yes to using your services it. before, just not, not this time. Yeah, these are just like bedrooms for the, the shenanigans. Uh, so let's... This way back to city. Um... If I go to the market district, I think I can turn in that one quest there. And I can also do the Red Jetties one. Uh, I could do the back alleys to do the, um, you know, that quest. Which I might do the back alleys and then go back to the market because then I can check in everything at the same time. So let's, let's do that. Word typeies be hard. You are correct. Did, am I going to have an account? I was hoping I'd find you. I heard about the Pearl. I don't know how, but you got them to leave with no fuss at all. Oh, cool. The Pearl's I don't have to find you. Will... Nobody gives orders to my men but me. A little lesson in respect is in order. I see. Don't bother sparing these louts. Things are about to get messy. Come on. We got. I was trying to go into tactical mode, and my mouse was like, meh, not gonna. I'm going for the archer. Come back here, you bitch! I him running away! Like a little bitch! Oh, it's not following me, that's cute. <laughs> voluntarily attack you are they just stupid yeah Here's they're the pretty dumb I promised I might have more work if you're interested but I'm heading back to the market district back alleys are just too dangerous for me glorious combat the day has been won let's loot some stupid bodies Ooh. 
New codex. Oh, this is a long one. Long ago, a soldier from Guarin was re probably said that wrong. <laughs> was returning home after 20 years at war. He had sold his sword for passage to Dedarum and had to make his way through the Brazilian forest with nothing to his name but a single crust of bread. On his way, he met an old blind woodcutter sitting on a tree stump. Here is someone worse off than myself, said the soldier, and he gave the old man his last scrap of bread. The old man blessed him and gave the soldier his axe in return. The soldier went on his way, and soon night fell. He made his bed in a tree branch and held the woodcutter's axe at his side to ward against beasts and bandits. When the moon was high, he was awakened by the sound of weeping. Show yourself, he shouted, for try as he might, the soldier could find no one nearby. Help me, spoke the tree in which he'd been sleeping. A mage transformed me into this shape, and I will never be set free. If you had any pity in you, you would cut me down so that my spirit could go to the maker. So the soldier took up his axe and struck the tree. The cuts bled like wounds, and soon hot blood covered the axe and burned the soldier's hands. But he held tightly to the axe and felled the tree. The tree shattered when it hit the ground, and from the splinters was a demon who bowed to the soldier and vanished into the fade. The soldier was chilled to the bone and could not sleep. In the morning, he found that the axe still burned like the blood of the sylvan. But despite its heat, he could not get warm again. They say he ended his days in Goran, cutting wood for his seven fireplaces, shivering and cursing the spirits. Ooh, that was a good one. I love reading the codexes. Like, maybe after I've played it 20 times, I'll care less, but as it stands now, I love reading the codexes. Where did I end up? Oh, I guess I actually did end up in the back alley I tried to be in. And so the Emmy playthrough begins. Yes! We have done it! We have converted Womble to the Mass Effects, probably. Just looking for a loot. No loot to be found. So we can probably go. I'll get on it. Oh, that was a different back alley. That's funny. I'm also gonna quick save because I just realized I did not I have not saved yet. What's the sitch? What's the sitch? Do I go for the I'm gonna go for you, and then I'm gonna go for the heart. Oh, loot him though. When did this become Dragon Age Kim possible? <laughs> We're redeemed hydrates. Thank you for the hydrate. Yes effect. Oh I love it. Gonna hydrate. Which good timing because after reading that codex I was like I should hydrate. Winner might get weird for me because I usually, I'll, like, I won't get, like, full, either I won't get full sick, I'll just get, like, a sore throat that won't go away, all right, all right. or I'll end up with, like, Got bronchitis it. for a month. So.
so that's another reason why I'm like I get annoyed having to cancel for silly things because winter realistically I'm gonna end up canceling a lot <laughs> hey I think I got all of them and I think I should make that my active quest I think I should do a cheeky save And away we go. Got it. Hi, River. How are you today? Oh, you're lurking. Well, enjoy the lurk. Or thank you for the lurk. I don't know. I can't. I did a just chatting for an hour and I have lost all words. <laughs> but I hope your day is going good. Let's go to another dark alley. Let's just clean up the riffraff in this town. Yeah, I think the whole stream's gonna be in Denerim. I think the next couple streams actually are probably gonna be in Denerim. Oh, there are a lot of red dots. Like, a lot of red dots. Alright, let's do this. Oh, and I triggered a trap. Dumb. Let's see some blood! We have been backed into a corner. Everyone's going for that guy, so I'm gonna go for this guy. Foster, come with me, today. Oh, I wasted dirty fighting on that dude. Okay, done with you now. Alster. You're in my way. I really appreciate you, but This guy died in a bush. That's just like... Like no one's gonna find his body, it's so sad. <laughs> Here I am. Oh, I... I didn't mean to talk to you, Sev. I'm real sorry, Booby. I, I meant to it. loot this corpse. I'm really enjoying all those health potions that they didn't bother using. Like, that's really helpful to my cause. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? All right, all right. Oh man, the health potions. I'm so happy. That's not what I want. That's what I want. All right. Another successful clearing of a back alley. I missed that trap, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, is, are you not? You are most certainly the door. But you're not lighting up. Which, why? Did I miss something? I'm gonna look around. It might be glitching. In which case, I'll just. I just saved so I can just like reload. But that door is definitely supposed to like do things. <laughs> Namely, let us out. Oh, that actually says city map right there. Well, they're both supposed to do it, but I just, I'll take whatever. Oh, that was another freaking random encounter. That wasn't even the bandits we wanted. Zev trying to steal me from Alistair. I know, right? It's coming. Hi. Oh, 
wasted it. Oh no. Oh. Thank God so bad. She was like stuck on this platform and could not move. But it's cool. The rest of the party got it. Got it. Loving all these health poultices. Now's I use a lot in the fade. Cause if anyone missed my uh, clippage for the past couple streams, I go on a whole rant about how this game decided it was cool to just have a major quest be a third by myself. And I, <sighs> I used a lot of potions. Kemzy! Kemzy! It's so good to see you. Welcome. You finished D and D. I'm so glad you popped in, even if you fall asleep to the soothing sounds of Dragon Age. I hope D and D went well. I know. I know there were concerns, but I hope you had a lovely time playing the Dungeons and the Dragons. You! We're about to send the boys to hunt you down! Boss says kill him! Yeah! Um... There we go. What's our sitch? That's the gang leader. We're probably gonna take him out first. And then maybe the archer? Yeah. You have no skill! Only Oh no, I'm stuck with you. How dare. How dare. I was gonna go for the Well done, team. Good, good work. Good hustle. Win. I love you. Get out. Of, get out. All of the right. Way, all right. Sir. New quest. New quest. Found a partially burned journal on a dead Templar named Sir Fryden, and it you learned that. Fryden defied his superiors by helping an unnamed Templar investigate reports of blood mages in Denerim. His investigation led him to a deserted building in the back alleys. Excuse me. Fryden's last entry indicates that he's been spotted and he employs anyone reading this journal to deal with the blood mages hidden in the city. Alright, alright, alright. New quest, do this. It was good. We had some good synergy. Yay! It's always like when you when you get a new group going, it's there's always that concern that you're not going to jive well cuz you you can all be like perfectly fine people and just not 
be a good fit for a D&D group, so that's always good when that happens. Another save. I'll get on it. Hmm. Actually, before I do this, I'm gonna take a look at the journal. We eliminated it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna check in all the things when we get back to the market. I think I'm gonna go to the market. Butt spot noticed you already? Did I miss a butt spot? Oh. Wait, did I actually end up in the market and not a random encounter? That's the first time I fast traveled anywhere and not gotten a random encounter. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Shanner's board. Uh, so yeah, we have to... Well, Dana's house, but we're not going back there. I think the market was where Jenny was, right? It just says market district. Okay. I'm gonna wander around. That's Slim Shady. I don't need to talk to him. Good to see you back. I've got complaints in the Nord Noble Tavern that some mercenaries have invaded. Nothing violent has happened. The cell swords are probably just disturbing the nobles' rarefied conversation. Just drum the louts out of there. The barkeep doesn't mind some blood. Or sport, as she called it. Captain said, Denrim won't miss a few dead mercenaries. Do what you will, and good luck. Alright, there's more questies for us to do. Just gonna keep going around. I think the Channer's board we might have. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Against his children, they shall be named men. Oh, that was us checking in the corpse call. Which we could have gotten more of a reward if we waited, but oh well. Let's do alienage. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond. I was getting to that part. As there is but one world. That's one not the way I want to go. There is but one God, and He is our Maker. Or was it? There we go. Thank the maker, my brother and his family made it out of the crowd. Actually, I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna go to the alienage. <laughs> By order of the new Earl of Denerim, no one is to enter the alienage. There's been an elven uprising. Knifeers even have the gall to attack the Owl's only son. Killed him in cold blood. With a whole Urian family dead, the regent appointed Rendon Howe of Amaranthine, the new Owl of Denerim. 
First thing he did was lead a purge of the alienage. There's a mess in there. When things are put back in order, the gates will be reopened. Now on your way. <sighs> That's right, I can't go to the alienage right now. Nope, that's not what I want the map, because I want... Um... You know what? The non-noble is right there. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Because we're, like, right there. And then we'll... I think I know where we're going next. This is where the nobility comes to get drunk and decide who is the most self-important of them all. Good times. Oh, Alistair. What can I get you, stranger? The dark spawn have attacked Lothering. I don't think everyone even had fled by the time they came, either. Word has it they swarmed the entire area, making off with prisoners and burning down the buildings. And then they were gone, just as quick. I wonder if there's anyone left. I heard some chanters were going to head down south, maybe to try to find some survivors. I'm not holding out hope myself. Anything else you need? Right, I'll show you around. Um, I can buy ale apparently. Oh, it's a gift. Sure. Um, we will take all your injury kits. We will take all your health potions. The Mabar stuff I haven't been using, so I'll leave that. Ooh, recipes. Require amounts of herbalism I do not have yet. Got it. What are you looking at? We're the Crimson Oars. We have good coin, and we're breaking none of your laws. I spit on your complaints. You see, this is why we called the guard. Causing a ruckus, they are. We happen to like the ale better here, the wine too. Less vomit on the floor. So long as we're paying, they're serving! <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> you may have a point. Ah, woman, you and your women are too old and shriveled. Too many damn clothes, right, boys? Ha ha ha! we go to the docks. Let's find I feel a little like bad that I basically just made them a different bar's problem, but it did satisfy the needs of the quest. So I'm gonna call that a win. <laughs> And avoided a bar fight. And that exclamation point's just gonna be there because it wants me to do the option where you um do shady shit for the tavern. Dude. Alistair, what's this? It's a sock. It's a filthy sock. How did it find its way to my bedroll? Maybe it likes you. This Socks was locked, so am like I gonna that. find people back Anyway, here? it's not mine. Now it I'm going to find a chest back here with a diamond? 
your name stitched on it. Oh, ha <laughs> uh, ha. Oh. Oh, wait, back there's a... the Chantry, the men were uh, always getting their socks mixed up. Um, sorry about that. I'll take it from you right now. One of my socks is feeling a little damp anyway. Oh, man, nice. that was You're a good going to put it haul. On. Good, good it's haul. filthy. And dry. We're not exactly traveling in the lap of luxury here. What hideous habits you've picked up. Good talk. I recognize you from Ostagar. Oh. And trust this blood. You're a Grey Warden. Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend and good King Kaelin. I demand satisfaction, sir. Um, I, we need to check your facts at the door, my friend. I didn't kill anyone. Um. So you would compound slander on top of treason? You dare smear Terran Logain's word? Yeah, I do. Because he's lying. Use your wits. The wardens would never help the dark spawn. True. If you're wrong, you'd be killing an innocent. Also true. Um. I'm going to go with one. The savior of Ferelden, Terran Loghain, personally told me of the Warden's betrayal. Your betrayal. An uncommon traitor deserves no common death. We will meet on the field of honor, and my blade shall see justice done. Meet me in the back alley behind the Nod Noble Tavern. There we will duel. Either if you insist on dying, you'll get your duel, or I won't fight a misled fool. I'm leaning towards... Yeah, I think I'm going to go three. Although one is great, too. Hmm. Hashtag violence. Not only would I smear his words, I'd turn him into the smear. <laughs> But honor demands you accept. Your honor, not mine. Farewell. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if that was like the most obnoxious laugh, but <laughs> that was a full belly chuckle. That was that that amused me. <laughs> um. Do I give him his duel or do I say your honor, not mine? Your laugh is not obnoxious. Well, thank you. Um, so I haven't done it yet on stream, but sometimes if I really get go going, I can I can say words. Um, if I really get going, I snort. <laughs> I haven't done I haven't done a good proper snort yet. We'll see. We'll see if you uh still don't find it obnoxious after that. Uh, do we want violence or do we want sass? Any opinions? Before I choose my this guy's fate, you have my answer already. You want violence? All right, fair, fair. Sass effect. <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm just gonna put that there. Shout out to my amazing mod cafe for his sense of humor and for him basically being a Bioware streamer now. <laughs> we we got him to start an Origins playthrough he didn't intend on starting. Alright, violence it is. My brand really is murder, murder, death. All Bioware all the time. Yeah, okay. Um. Make peace with the Maker, sir. These are your last moments. New quest, honor bound. Lordy. Hmm. 
We're we're doing this, fam. We're doing this. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. Are you ready? I am no savage. I would not take advantage of you. All I see is a fool. Everyone get him. You coward! Oh, and you're also dying. Strike at me if you die! Okay. <laughs> Terrible mistake picking a Not fight it. with me? Fuck yeah, you did. Um, got any good shit on you? Engraved mace. Take that. Um, is it any better than. Nah. It's not even close to as good as Oathkeeper. Well, thanks for giving me something worth some amount of coin to, to sell. That was nice of you. Welcome back, wine! We committed some... some, uh, some murder. I don't know if I save, but I'm gonna save again. And now we're going to this warehouse. Hey! Stuff! generic helmet that's probably nothing like not worth anything oh this warehouse doesn't have things just has a lot of I guess empty barrels Got it. the warehouse has something I didn't see anything other than Generic helmet. Oh, is that where I'm supposed to do the Freds of Reg anything? Is that why that quest marker is there? Or is it in Wonders of Thetis? Oh, Mysterious Store. Mysterious Store is probably Reg Any. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't know if you can get it yet, but there is something there. Okay, uh, it's probably a have to come back because so far I just saw a chest with a helmet and nothing else. Wonders of Thetis. Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the Circle, as well as a variety of antiquities. Is there anything you would like to see? Browse your wares. First of all... Um... Gonna sell you. And... Armor. 1.4. Yeah, no. And then... On PC tab, highlights interactable objects if you didn't know already. Oh, good to that. I did not know that, but that's good to know. Um, speaking of in inventory origins, um, 
I got armor for the dog. Oh, the doggy's not my party. Give that to you. Hey, warden. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the host. Sometimes there are sneaky things you can't see without. Good to know. Um. And there we go. And I think that's everything that I wanted to do in here. So yeah, hi Warden, how are you? Hope you're having a good good day. I almost said good Friday and then I realized not everyone's in the same time zone and I don't... Some of y'all are in the future. Some of y'all are in the future, although I think it's still Friday in the future. I don't know how, I don't know how time zones work. <laughs> How's your day? Journal. Oh yeah, this is just a report back, so let's do that real quick. I want it's funny you doing the, hey, did you know that this thing does this thing? Because that was me and Cafe Stream last night. I was like, don't forget that this does this because it's been a while. It's, sat it's Saturday where you are, Kemsey? Oh, yeah. It is Saturday where you are. Well, I hope you're having a good Saturday. <laughs> It's Friday for it. Edwina most of sends her thanks for getting yeah. rid of the Crimson Oars. Mind you, she's disappointed there was no fighting. Here's payment. You've helped out a great deal. Disappointed there was no fighting? Oh, it's. Yeah, true. It is Saturday where, where Womble is, too. Well, enjoy your Saturdays, folks. Hope you're having great weekends. Gotta lurk again. Work is busy. Okay. It's okay. Lurks are always appreciated, they are valid, they are loved. Uh, I lurk all the time in, in places. I was lurking on, um, I was lurking on someone's stream while I was prepping for today. Missing in action. This is just kind of a, you have to stumble upon him. City map, there's a city map over there. It's an alien engine, I don't want that. Yeah, I'm gonna do city map. There's one place I wanna try going to before we give up on Deadroom. Which I think. All men are the worst of us. Because I think we've done like there's some stuff where it's like you wander around and find people, but Deserted building. That's where I want to go. Oh yeah, Jackbox Detox tonight. So yeah, anyone who follows Cafe... I'm gonna do another save. Um, it's Jackbox tonight. We're gonna have some fun. I... I should be there for Jackbox. I might be lurky, but I should definitely at least like be I around. see a trap. Oh, that's the trap. <laughs> oh, I should have stealthed. I didn't realize there were all these people. Oh, 
Entry door back. key. Interesting. I wonder where you go to. So tell now me, when, get how out did of you my become way. a warden? How did you become a gray warden? Ah, you are keeping this tale to yourself, I see. Fair enough. Forgive me for prying. This feels like an awkward time to be talking about my dead family. I'm just saying. I'm up for Dragon Age Jack... Wait, did Dragon Age Jackbox get... I can't guarantee we're not going to talk about Dragon Age. Oh! Oh, yeah. Um, Dragon Age Jackbox would actually make me not lurk. Probably. Butsy! Butsy! Oh my god! <laughs> the best thing I did was add Buttspot to this channel. <laughs> I am interested to hear. Arl Rendon Howe? The Arl of Amaranthine? Why would he do such a thing to you? If you want to change your nickname on Discord to Butsy, I will allow it. <laughs> I actually don't know if I gave you guys permission to change names or if I have to do it but if you can't do it I, I want to like I, I will make that happen for you come see <laughs> you are you are the last of the Kooslands I had no idea my lady Yes, I suppose so. You can no longer have a title, can you? Already done. But that does not mean <laughs> nice. you must forget utterly where you came from. Take heart, dear friend. You survived, even when you were not expected to. We do not know yet what lies in store for you, or the name you carry. It is not so bad, is it, being a Grey Warden? I'd give it up if it meant I could see my family again. That's so sad. I just hope that I can show the strength Duncan saw in me is a good choice. Or I just wish my house did not have to fall. Y yeah, that Sometimes one. Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be alright. You were chosen. You survived the joining when others did not. Perhaps it was meant to be. I'm gonna purple plus two. Lovely. Now, can I loot this body? Oh, all almost right, happened again. All right. Oh, quest marker. Now's better than later. Probably. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll probably the it. key that I found. There are lots of red dots. Do I? S I was debating stealthing, and then was like, meh. Oh, they're through the store here.
Oh, the trap's over there. Okay. Cool. Well, we're gonna loot these bodies. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? And then... We'll... trap is not showing up as a trap? For some reason? But definitely is one. And it looks like there's nothing to lift here. Cool. Got it. Hey, shinies. Now's better than later. Private documents. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Ooh, I was actually able to unlock that. I love when I can do roguey things. So clutch. Alistair, let's do that. 
and that and that and we'll focus on strength next time Ooh, yeah I might I'm probably gonna give you your your uh, Templar thingy overpower is really cool shield mastery increases the damage shield wall Oh, that, which requires 26 dex and level 12. So yeah, his dex has to go up to get... Oh yeah, his next thing should be getting his dex up to 20 to take that. Um, but for now... I'm gonna give him his Templar thing. Jackbox just lost, launched a Twitch overlay. That's cool. You are now Butsy. Oh, I'm just looking at stuff from before. Okay, I just missed. I just missed that one thing from Cafe and thought it was like extra stuff I missed in chat. Okay, I'm getting. I was like, I'm getting tired because it's six twelve. That's why this is past when I normally stream. I want to finish this quest before I end, though. We we talked about Dragon Age a lot. And I didn't notice what time it was. It's so great. Thank you all for hanging out, especially since it's a little longer than normal. Not sure how much longer this particular quest is. Oops. way we wanted to go but I triggered a trap and then things attacked me and I was like I guess I'm fighting now why are you not highlighting Got it. did I just level up getting a chest open that's hilarious um Get my strength up one. Cutting willpower. I'll do two to willpower. I feel like I definitely need to up dex and cunning though. Dual wield, I got all the things for dual wields opened. So many good options. But I'm gonna go with that one.
definitely a trap, but I also don't know how to avoid it, so. Oh shit. Get off Alistair, get off Alistair! Crap! The dog straight up like eight my boyfriends. I saved right before this. So it's fine if I end up having to redo it, because yeah, I'm about to get you to do it. Win is just like straight up stuck. Get to these guys. I straight up can't get to these guys. And I like to destroy it. Okay, there we go. I was like, um, when I click on you, can you do this? So Zev and Alistair are both dead. Okay, that was fun. Um, Well, that was fun. Um, I almost died. That's cool. But it's fine. It's fine. I do wonder if this quest is like too hard. Do I keep going? I guess I keep going. This might be too- I might have to abandon ship and I'll try to finish this fight, but I might have to abandon ship and do the rest of this another time because I keep dying. I only have so many injury kits. Like this definitely is starting to feel like above the level. <laughs> Like, it keeps being me and Win are the only ones still alive. And then you fucking healed. It's not over! It can't be! Yeah, no, I'm dead. Yeah, no.
no. Yeah, no. Load. Quick save. The, like, I keep dying. I think I need to be a higher level for this. Or at least need to not be as tired as I currently am, apparently. Let's see, from here we went this way. Yeah, I'm gonna abandon ship. And like backtrack and come back here, cause uh, I keep dying, yeah. Yeah, this is the way I came, because there's uh, another trap that I disarmed. Run away! Sir Robin ran away. He bravely ran away. So, where was I? Deserted building. Yeah, we'll come back to the deserted building another day. Um, so I'm gonna go to the... Actually, you know what? This was the last thing I was gonna do in Dead Room, I think. I'm gonna go to camp. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands, but this is not it. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Let's, let me guess, she drinks blood, eats children? No, I'm just gonna oh, go Oh, if only twere so. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter. And when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. But spawn. It's fantastic. I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said, the Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. So if you die, she would have another daughter. Are you certain? What do you know how to do? There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. But Butt Spot is on point today, see? Yep, I knew you guys would enjoy Butt Spot. <laughs> oh, so, uh, Flemeth needs to die. Yeah, good luck with that. And what would that do? At best, I would receive pointless reassurances. At worst, Flemeth would imprison me once she became aware I know what I do. I know my mother well enough to be confident she would show no mercy when it came to her own survival. I must do the same. 
because if she is slain while I am near, I am not certain that she will not simply be able to take possession of me right there. So obviously I cannot be the one to do it. So let's recap, Morgan. You want me to kill your mother, who's a very powerful magic user, without your help. Is that is that what we're saying? Because that sounds like a terrible idea that I'm obviously going to do. Kimsey, I'm sorry you don't like the level up spot. I do, but... I, I know it really bothers you. I can try to exclude you. I can try to figure out how, because I know someone else excludes you from it in another server. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari wilds without me. Confront her and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Oh no, that totally makes sense. Um, Can you mute the pings? Because if not... I can figure out how to edit it. I can either try and figure out how to make it so it doesn't ping you or just like exclude you from it. Cause I get that as a mod for other places, you would rather only get pinged for things that are actually important. That totally makes sense. We'll figure it out. We'll like, after, when I'm done streaming, I'll see if I can figure it out or like sometime this weekend. Not really, but the sooner the better, no? You can turn off the notification. Okay. I'll look at it later. Thank you, Cafe. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will Bye, set Cafe. my Bye, Cafe. I'm probably going to wrap up in a few minutes, but thank you for the lurk. Enjoy snackage. And... Um, I hope you enjoy whoever I drag you to when I raid. <laughs> I'm only doing a quick save just in case the game crashes. Otherwise, I feel pretty confident that I'm not going to die in camp. Um, is there anyone I want to talk to right now? Oh, I want to talk to Zev because we just got him. And Alistair and the doggo. I mean, I should really talk to everyone, but. Here I am. So, here's where we're at. The first time I played this game, I said, Alistair seems nice, maybe I'll romance him. And then, Zev happens. And he was so freaking charming, I ended up romancing him instead. So we now have to, our goal, if we choose to accept it, is to resist the charms of Zevron long enough to bang our puppy dog of a boyfriend, Alistair. <laughs> This should be good. Go ahead. Well, the crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training. The sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is the desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. I don't know about that. It's simply a slightly different skill set from your average killer, as I see it. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth, and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. 
debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. One day, Bioworld will give us a poly romance so we can we aren't this conflicted. Yeah, one day. I read somewhere that the coding for it gets complicated, and that's why they haven't done it yet. That it's not a lack of desire. It's a it's a technical dumb issue. But I don't know. I would love it. See? Getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Alright. Um, I know... I don't know anything about mods, but I do know that there's, like, guides online that tell you how to get at least, like, partial romances, which, with multiple characters in some of the games and like what order to do things so that like if you want to ultimately end up with this one you can do this first and it won't piss off this one too much like stuff like that I want to talk to Zev more here I am oh this should be good go ahead well now, I imagine that's a very fair question. Being an assassin after all is a, a living, at least as far as such things go. I was simply never given the opportunity to choose another way. So if that choice presents itself, why should I not seize upon it? Hmm? To be truthful, I didn't even know the crows existed when I joined them. I was but a boy of seven when I was purchased, for three sovereigns, I'm told, which is a good price, considering I was all ribs and bone and didn't know the pommel of a dagger from the pointy end. The crows buy all their assassins that way, buy them young, raise them to know nothing else but murder, and if you do poorly in your training, you die. Oh, I don't know about that. The crows who are actually good enough to survive come to enjoy some of the benefits. In Antiva, being a crow gets you respect. It gets you wealth. Gets you women. And men. Or whatever it is you might fancy. But that does not mean doing what is expected of you always. And it means being expendable. It's a cage, if a gilded cage. Pretty, but confining. I fancy many things. I fancy things that are beautiful and things that are strong. I fancy things that are dangerous and exciting. Would you be offended if I said I fancied you? And this is the moment where my heart became conflicted the first time I played this game. Because how do you not swoon at that smooth talking motherfucker? Look at this guy. We just met. All I know is he tried to kill me and I was like, sure, join the party. And this guy comes up with, would you be offended if I said I fancied you? What is this? Not in front of my future husband, jeez. Um. Not a f ah, that's too bad. I do so enjoy it when I get to be flirty. As for what I'll do in the future, presuming that there is one, I truly can't imagine. It might be interesting to go into business for myself, for a change. Far away from Antiva, of course. For now, naturally, I go where you go. It's like... I'm trying to think if there's a character in two. Because for me, for this game, 
Zevran's the one I'm probably going to keep going back to that romance because he's so charming. Inquisition, Dorian, same, similar reasons. I'm trying to think if there's anyone in two that I'm like, you smooth talking, charming asshole, I need to love you forever. Because like, I guess the closest is Isabella, but she's very, she's not... She's sassy and sometimes flirty, but she's also like kind of standoffish because she doesn't want to get into like a committed relationship and she like... Mer Meryl is awesome. Ooh, good point. Meryl is... She's, she's adorable, but the thing is that she's not trying to be flirty necessarily. She's just super freaking cute. And... I love the way they wrote her character because her personal quest is one of the most frustrating ones out of all of them, but I just kind of went along with it because I loved her so much. She was my first romance for two, by the way. Adorable and chaotic, yes. Anders is more charming, not smooth, but charming. Yeah, and I was definitely like the last, I noticed it more the last time I played. I was, I was a... Uh, Male hawk romancing Isabella, and there were a couple times where I was like, Anders, are you flirting with me? He's very charming. Which is probably how I can headcanon me just kind of being oblivious to the obvious dot dot dot. I'm not going to talk about DAT right now, but you get, where, you get where I'm going with that. Eventually can be a very, very long time if one plays one's cards right. Come now, enough chit chat. Talking about the crows summons them, you know. Any Antivan fishwife could tell you so. Severum plus one. I want to exhaust Here like I am. a lot of the. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. Yes, please. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this Ferelden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. Bioware, please let me go to Antiva in DA4. Please and thank you. It's not really a matter of wanting to go back. I cannot go. At least not yet. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? Oh, I have never seen that place. I am sure it has its charms, and its dogs. <laughs> hmm. You know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine, and its dark-haired beauties, and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. I mean the smell. For years, I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in a building where the crows stored their youngest recruits, packed in like crates. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home more than anything else. Oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in the store window. Finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. 
How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a beautiful Grey Warden? A woman who then spares my life? I could not. Again, I, I repeat, how can you resist? Um, with the, with lines like, how could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a beautiful gray warden? The Lord give me strength. I say you are beautiful because it is true, should I not? I just need to be careful here. Um I'm on to you, Phil Snow. Because you should not, feels like, shooting him down, but then again, we kind of are. No by all means feels too encouraging. I'm overanalyzing all my choices, I know, but... And glad I am to hear it. Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of Antiba. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. Um, is everyone approval plus four? It's so much easier to get approval with him than anyone else. Uh, get... Of the gifts. I had the Antivan boots, but I guess I don't. Yeah, I guess I don't. Oh well. I was going to give him the boots because I thought I had gotten them. I also thought, you know what, actually, are there any gifts and plot items? No. Okay. One more thing from Zev, I am. and then we'll stop bothering Zev. This should be good. What would you like to discuss? I want you to leave. No. That was right in front of Look, Alistair. Before we go any further, I want to say something. I appreciate that you brought me to see my sister. And that you... Well, that you were there to talk me down after we left. You're a true friend. I just wanted to tell you that. Two things. One. Zeb just flirted with us right in front of Alistair, which is not cool, bruh. And two, friends, we're just friends. I think we're about to be more than just friends. I'm just saying, like, I really want to marry you. <laughs> that we are. I have your back. You know that, right? Well, now that that's out of the way, I at your service. Of course. I did most of these things. Uh, Alistair was supposed to. At your check service. Something. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Thank you for the posture check and the hydrate. I needed the both. <laughs> Oh, 
also. I need y'all. I need y'all to look at my options here. How would you like to join me in my tent? I need to tell you how much I enjoy your company. I think we need to end this now. Three is a non-starter. But that... I'm conflicted. Because one, I assume means I can kick off this romance. And there's a part of me that's like, that's a great way to end the stream. And then there's another part of me that's like, I feel bad if one of the main goals for this was romancing him and I do it on a day where I normally don't Dragon Age. But also, Kemsey's never here. And, and Wobble, you're like 50-50. And I got like a good crew here right now. And I feel like y'all are the ones that I want to give this gift to. <laughs> but also, Cafe's lurking and I'm worried he's going to miss it. <laughs> oh. Are we ready? Are we ready? Because I'm choosing... I... I think I might be choosing number one. Or do I go number two? Do I... Do I choose option one or do I choose option two? Guys, I'm so conflicted. Can we pin cafe on Discord? Yes, one. Wobble said one. I mean, worst case scenario, I can clip... I'm gonna clip the heck out of this. And I can send him the clip. But... <sighs> you can always go to two and then one. Mmm, good point, good point. I'm gonna hit never minds because I'm gonna save. Fair enough. Off we go then. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna quick save. I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna At do your it! Service. But I saved just in case! <laughs> well, we're in camp. And Now's I'm gonna start with number two, to talk, and right? then I'm gonna see what happens. You know I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Given the circumstances, things could have been so much worse. I'm so grateful that you're you, instead of some other Grey Warden. Mm, that sounded better in my head. I, I just mean to say that I've really come to care about you. Guys, I wish you could see my face right now. I feel like I should take a selfie just to show you my face. I'm grinning. <laughs> Your goofy is like, oh, don't stop. But I feel the same way sincere. I feel like I might want to be sincere. Yeah. Now we just need to be rid of that pesky archdemon and everything will be back to normal, right? <laughs> I love you. And s skill acquired? I'm sorry. What? Inspired by your leadership, this party member has gained a moderate bonus to constitution! I'm glad I did that. Okay. Another cheeky save, because that worked well. You're going to need that constitution, Alistair. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, look at this. Do you know what this is? Did he just... Did he just... I can't talk, which is really bad, because that's literally your job as a streamer, is to play games and talk about them. <laughs> he just gave us a flower. Cafe, you came back just in time! I'm gonna clip the thing that you missed, don't worry, but you came back just in time. Because what is happening is, we are at high enough... Um, 
with Al approval with Alistair that the hardcore flirting has happened. We had a conversation where we were basically like, I care about you. I care about you too. And then it gave him a constitution buff, <laughs> which is funny. And I was gonna initiate the why don't you come to my tent scene, but he just gave me a freaking rose. What is this? <sighs> So thirsty. I'm actually going to take a hydrate break real quick before I do this because <laughs> Is it just me or did I get warm in here? <laughs> um Yes, absolutely. I'm trying to trick you. Is it working? Oh, I just about had you, didn't I? <laughs> Nefarious, even. <laughs> oh gosh, oh heck. I picked it in Lothering. I remember thinking, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and ugliness? I probably should have left it alone, but I couldn't. The Darkspawn would come and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. I thought that I might give it to you, actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing when I look at you. I think the same thing when I look at you, I'm dying! Oh, you're so charming when you're not being... Also, I did smirk at the taint comment line, so yes. <laughs> I literally, one is literally me right now. I literally don't know what to say, so that's... I guess it's a bit silly, isn't it? I just thought, here I am doing all this complaining and you haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since you're joining. Not a word of thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and tragedy. I thought maybe I could say something tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find amidst all this darkness. Y'all, give me a second. I'm taking a dub selfie to post a Discord later of my face. Anyway. I feel the same way about you as obviously the choice I'm making, Wolf! I'm glad you like it. Now, if we could move right on past this awkward, embarrassing stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. Alistair! <laughs> that, my voice went really high. Oh my god. Also, number four. Look at number four. That's our choice, right? <sighs> Chat, we have truly been blessed on this day. We got... This week, this week has been so beautiful. <laughs> we got Dragon Age trailer. I'm getting an Ahsoka live action series, an Ironheart series, a Miss Marvel series, and I'm gonna bang Alistair for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Love called. Damn, she saw right through me. You're so cute when you're Bashful. I'll be <laughs> I'll be standing over here until the blushing stops just to be uh, safe you know how it is Alistair Alistair booby I'm not kidding we're going to bang tonight whether you know it or not 
What did I get? I don't know what I got. It's a, uh, I mean, it's probably just the rose, but also, woo! You guys are too much. Um, another cheeky quick save. I'm gonna see if I yes. can get this to happen. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? I hope that gasp was audible. I was gonna say join me in my tent, but there's a kiss him option. Y'all. Oh. You want to... right now? Well, who am I to refuse? No, I didn't want that. What'd I do? Oh no, what'd I do? Um. Do we end it on the kiss or do we go for the see you in my tent? Do we end for sweet? Do we end that sweet and romantic or do we be like, y'all, let's bang? It's already seven o'clock, holy cow. I'll leave it up to you guys. If I don't do it now, I'm doing it next stream. <laughs> but. Do we want to end on the romantic kiss? Go for the path to glory! <laughs> okay, so that's Wolf's vote. I feel like everyone just wants to see him beg. I'm just gonna... Uh, I, I saved a rave. I'm gonna save again. Show that boy what it needs to be awarded! Yes? Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Your tent. Ah, I know most guys would probably leap at the chance to be with you, but I don't know if I'm ready for that. Aww. It's a big step. E I guess that must make me sound like an idiot. I mean, turn down an incredible woman like you, I'd have to be. I love him more now. I've actually... Oh no, I'm gonna... I will add the Path of Glory just for you for next time, Cafe. I'm sorry. Um, um, like, I know we all wanted this. But, oh yeah, Wolf, I'm going for number two, don't worry. Just <laughs> I think it's extra sweet that he's like, I want to wait until it's right. Like, especially with, without getting too, too personal, I, my, my, I had a past relationship that moved way too fast and it, it, it means a lot to me when someone's like, let's wait for the right moment. So that's sweet. Um, I think it's cute. <laughs> Just what every man wants to hear. I guess I was just raised not to take this sort of thing lightly. I hope it hasn't put you off. All right, uh, so now that I've handled that with my usual deft brilliance, time to move on and take a cold bath, maybe. Did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can support this premium content without paying extra? Thank you, Streamlabs. I'm gonna end it there. <laughs>